Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I am your host Faraz. So in this video, we'll be solving the third question of Lead Code by Weekly Contest 47. And name of the problem is sum of beauty of all substrings. Now the problem statement is quite crisp. The beauty of a substring is difference in frequencies between the most frequent and the least frequent characters. For example, the beauty of the given string a b double a double c is 3 minus 1 that is 2. And how? So for that let us go to the first example. So this is the uh, string which is given to us and here the beauty is 5. So these all are the substrings where there is actually a non-zero difference between the frequencies of character. So here the most frequent character is a, the frequency is 2. The least frequent character is b, the frequency is 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 will be added to the answer. Again here the same case is there. A is having the frequency of 2, B is having the frequency of 1, C is having the frequency of 1. Again, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 is added to the answer. Here, the most frequent elements or the characters are A and B. So, we can either consider A or B. So, 2 is the frequency, least frequent is C. Again, 1 will be added to the answer. Similarly here and here. Alright. So, this is the other example where the answer is 17. So the most brute force way is to generate all the possible substrings and then in that substrings finding the most frequent character and the least frequent character and that is done. But that will take big O of n cube time. So let us see a bit more optimized approach. For that I am taking this example. So here is the example. So in this example what I want to do is again I will be running a double for loop to generate all the possible substrings. So I'll be starting from this position. This is, this denotes my i, and then I will start my j from i, and then I will go to each of the characters one by one. So initially this will be my substring, then this, then till b, then till c, then till again this b, then till a, and then a. So this is going to be when I'm starting from this position. Similarly, I can start from this position as well. So if I start from this position, it will be a, a b, a b c. A, B, C, B, A, B, C, B, A, and A, B, C, B, double A. So, that is how I will be generating all the possible substrings. And while I am traversing with the help of J, I will keep storing the frequencies. Okay? And then I will see which is the most frequent character and which is the least frequent character. And I will see the difference and add it to the answer. Now, let us see how we can do this efficiently. So, for that, the first step. So, the first step is to do double for loop i is equal to 0, i is smaller than n, where n is the size of the string and for int j is equal to i, j is smaller than n, j plus plus. int answer, answer is equal to 0, comma, n is equal to s dot size. Now, our substring is starting at the ith index and it is till the jth index. Okay? So now we have to, while we are traversing with the help of j, we have to store the frequencies of all these characters. So how we can do that? We can do that with the help of a map of course. If you don't know about sets and maps, you can go to my playlist, the free interview preparation series which you can follow for your interview preparation. There I am teaching the most frequently used standard template library and the most frequently asked algorithms and data structures. Also along with that I am taking the live doubt sessions on weekly basis for which you will have to join the telegram group the link is in the description so if you are preparing for the coding interviews or if you want to do a revision quick revision for the coding interviews you can join this series and you can join the telegram group for more information currently i am in the topic dynamic programming i am adding lectures to this playlist almost daily also i am updating this playlist with the most recent questions so make sure to check it out the link is in the description so coming back to the question you can use map to store the frequencies of all these characters which are starting from the ith index until the jth index so for that map of care comma int m okay so m of s of j plus plus so this will be storing the uh, frequencies from i till j now how to see which character is the most frequent and which character is the least frequent so basically we can go to each of the characters so for that or to a belong to m i'm going each of the entries inside the map 
and I will keep two integers to count the frequencies, the least frequency and the most frequency. So most frequency is denoted by MF, which is equal to zero, and least frequency I'm denoting by LF, which is int max. Now, so M of F is equal to maximum of M of F, comma A dot second. Okay while L of F is equal to minimum of least frequency comma A dot second. Now I have the most frequency and the least frequency in this range from I to J and I can add this to the answer. Answer is equal to M of F most frequency minus the least frequency that is L of F. Let us try to run this and it is giving us correct answer. Let us just submit this now but hold on we are going to discuss another very important approach which could be used in many other questions as well. So instead of characters, if you had numbers, so that approach is very useful in that case. So here, as we can see, this loop is going to run at most 26 times. Why? Because we have at max 26 unique characters. That's why this uh, for loop is constant. Okay. And these for loop they depend on the size n. So here this solution could be referred as n square because we will be considering only these two loops which are big O of n and big O of n. And we will ignore this one because this is running at most 26 times. But if it would have been integers in place of these characters then this map would have been so large. Okay. In that case what we can do is we can use another very beautiful approach which is using sets. Now we only need to find the most frequent character and the least frequent character. We only need to know the frequencies, not the characters actually. So for that, what I can do is I can create a set. Now this set is going to store all the frequencies. Now as the frequencies of two characters can be same also, okay? As we can see in this example, the frequencies of uh, A and B both are two. So it could be same also. So for that I'm using multi set. Now multi set is same as set everything inside this set will be also sorted but the difference is whereas set can only store the unique elements multi set can store copies we can store any character or any element twice or more than twice so multi set of uh, int here because we are storing frequencies you now we have bothered about the highest and the lowest frequency this set will be in sorted order so the first entry of the set is going to give us the lowest frequency while the last entry is going to give me the highest frequency. I can access to the first and the last element of the set in a constant time. So I won't have to run the entire for loop to see all the frequencies and then find the most and the least one. So using this multi set, I will be able to achieve the highest and the lowest frequencies very easily in a constant time. All right. So now what we have to do for that we have to store the frequencies inside the set. Okay. So we are coming to a particular character at the index J. Now its frequencies increase inside the map. Initially, let us say if the frequency of this character, if the frequency of S of J inside the set initially was equal to five. Now it is going to be six. Okay. So first of all, I will have to delete this frequency five from the set because it was initially present there now it won't be there. So S dot. Also let us say um, there was another character whose frequency was 5. So I only have to delete one of the entries. So for that I will be using S dot erase. I won't simply write M of S of J. So this is going to give me the frequency of the Jth character. Now if I do this s dot erase it is going to erase all the entries which are equal to m of s of j so if there were other characters with the frequency 5 they those frequencies will also be deleted I, but i have to delete only one of those frequencies so for that i can use s dot find this now it is going to delete only one of the entries so i deleted that frequency now that frequency will be equal to 6 after i incremented it so i will have to insert it s dot insert m of s of j okay and answer plus equal to now what will be stored at the beginning of s 
oops there's one more problem here so we are using s as a string so for here we should use st for the set st st and this is s this is st and here st dot begin this is going to give me the reference for the starting character which is the least frequency I'm going to dereference it with the help of this star asterisk and s dot r begin is going to give me reference to the most frequency I'm going to dereference it okay then finally I can return the answer let us see if it is working or it is giving us compilation errors the time limit got exceeded wait a second only if the jth character has occurred previously then only we are going to delete its frequency so if m dot find s of j if this is not equal to m dot end then we will delete it also here it is not s it should be st okay now let us try to run this m dot find s is not equal to m dot end let us try to run this again okay it is giving us correct answer for the given test case let me just submit this alright so it got accepted now let us talk about the time complexity of this solution so these operations to find the beginning and the end here over here these are being done in constant time and while we store them inside the set this multi set we want to maintain the order that's why we are not using unordered set so if we insert n elements into this it will be n log n okay so the overall complexity becomes n which is for the first for loop multiplied by n log n this is n square log n basically so this is the overall time complexity of the solution and the space complexity in this case is big O of n where n could n are the unique characters or the unique elements that are being stored okay so this is it for the solution I hope you guys like this and if you do make sure to leave your likes make sure to leave your comments and subscribe to the channel and you can explore a lot of stuff is out there on the channel you can just explore it and learn your favorite topics the topics which you lack confidences you can go and learn that out thank you